Hello viewers, I am here to share with you uh, about uh, management and basically in this session we are going to talk about some of the basic uh, characteristics and features of management, how management is going to be uh, like helpful for the uh, studying of management is going to be helpful for the managers and, and at the same time how management is going to be effective management can be useful for the organization also. So continuing with this session, first I am going to talk who are the managers. So manager is a person or anyone who coordinates and oversees the work, oversees the work of other people so that organizational goals can be accomplished. So it, it is very important that first of all the manager should know what are the organizational goals and accordingly he or she should try to uh, achieve those organizational goals with the strategies and with the available resources. So assessment of the available resources as well as the proper uh, knowledge of the organizational goals become very important for the manager to do effective management. So if we classify managers, so managers can be classified as first line managers, middle, level, middle managers, top managers, so first line managers, these are the individuals who manage the work of non-managerial employees. Basically, the workers, those are skilled, semi-skilled or unskilled workers, the persons who are managing those employees, those non-managerial employees, those are the first line managers. And in the, mid the middle level managers are the individuals who manage the work of the first line managers, means these, are, these persons are uh, the su supervisors or the superiors of the first line managers and they manage the work of those first line managers they give them the task they give them the objectives uh, which are going to be fulfilled by the first line managers at the same time they are also going to see what uh, first line managers are doing and if there are any variations in the targeted um, plans then accordingly those variations has to be plugged then uh, comes the top managers these are the individuals who are responsible for making organizational organizational wide decisions and establishing plans and goals that affect the entire organization so these are those persons who are responsible for taking the decisions which are going to affect the whole of the organization it is not going to affect only one of the department in the organization but whole of the organization going to be affected by the decisions which they are going to make and we are going to make and they are going to plan and they are going to set goals. So uh, this is the uh, pyramid that shows the different levels of the man managerial levels. Uh, top managers comes at the top, then middle managers, first, first line managers and then non-managerial employees. Now what is management? So, Management involves coordinating and overseeing the work activities of others so that their activities are completed efficiently and effectively. So two important words in this is efficiency and effectiveness. So basically uh, the manager uh, is going to uh, have assess of the resources, available resources with the organization and those resources has to be utilized in an effective manner. So uh, likewise management involves coordinating all those activities and overseeing or supervising the work activities of other uh, persons, uh, uh, juniors maybe, maybe peers or the uh, maybe the persons who are working in other departments also sometimes so that they they can accomplish the organizational task in an effective and efficient manner. So uh, effectiveness and efficiency they are also uh, have relation with the uh, wastage of the resources also. So the wastage of the resources should be minimum and at the same time output is going uh, should be effectively more and only then uh, we can say that uh, the task is being done in an efficient manner. So man, there are uh, some of the managerial concerns as I have talked in the previous slides also efficiency and effectiveness they become the two important concerns. Uh, efficiency basically is 
doing things right means we are doing the things in a right manner we are doing the things uh, in a proper manner as intended as intended means as planned as uh, the rules permit as the procedures are going to be there we are going to do things in that manner only so getting the most output for the least output so if we are uh, the productivity equation that is PO is equal to output over input then we are going to see that if we have to increase the output also to increase productivity at the same time we have to decrease the input so that productivity is going to be enhanced so basically in the efficiency the purpose is to have maximum output from the least input from the less number of the resources at the same time if we are going to talk about the word effectiveness it means doing the things doing the right things only that is attaining organizational goals doing the right things basically is going to um, be concerned about achieving the organizational objectives and we have to work only uh, in that manner which are going to uh, be directed towards the achievement of the objectives we are not going to do the activities which are going to lie or which are going to deal the things which are not concerned about the objective so objectives become in manager uh, management becomes very important efficiency deals with the resource usage means the waste has to be uh, low so that we can have the maximum output at the same time uh, effectiveness deals with the goal attainments that is uh, the attainment of the goals that should be high means we should try to achieve the goals as soon as possible with the uh, less number of the resource utilization so if a manager can be uh, should be efficient and effective both and management deals with efficiency and effectiveness so efficiency is basically the means through which we can achieve the ends that is effectiveness so efficiency and effectiveness both are in very much interrelated and they are going to be the major concern for any organization and uh, these effect uh, efficiency and effectiveness these are being the ultimate objectives of the management and management strives for low resource waste that is high efficiency and high goal attainment that is high effectiveness so resource waste should be low waste should be low and attainment of the goals should be high so if we can see that these are the uh, these are linked there are going to be um, inverse relationship between the two uh, wastage should be minimized and at the same time attainment of goal should be uh, high